Hi everyone, my name's Gabby Starbuck and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. That's right, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of some e.l.f. products that I've purchased and we're going to test them out as well. So as you can see I've got my little mirror, it's all lined up here. Hopefully you like these uh, facial products. They're just simple stuff really. It's not a full face makeup sort of tutorial or anything like that. It is literally just a case of pulling out of a box what I have purchased from e.l.f. and showing you what they're like. And let's have a quick little unbox and see what we've got inside here. I love these things that you get. I get a bit of a buzz when I pop them. And these I can play with all day long. Elf is like a new type of product that I've been using at the moment. How can I put it? It's reasonably priced and it feels great as well. But this is what I purchased. It was a really good deal. I think it was something like free delivery if you spent so much. And I think there was like 40% off on some of the items anyway. I can't remember off the top of my head. But I'll just pull out what I purchased so you can see the nice little batch that I purchased. God, I've used the word purchase like how many times? Anyway, I've got this toner. I've got a few different toners actually. I do use the Tropic Toner. Um, I am going to do a video on Tropic stuff, so keep your eyes peeled for that because it's going to be coming up soon because I've purchased some stuff from there. But anyway, because I'm liking the e.l.f. range, I thought that I would give this a go. Packaging's really lovely, isn't it? It's very yellow. It says on here, Super Tone, a toner with brightening fruit acids. Brightens complexion, provides gentle chemical exfoliation. Directions, use once per day. Anyway, we'll have a look at that in a minute. We'll see how we get on. I bought some mineral infused face primer. I like the packaging of this as well. It looks really classy, but it's actually quite cheap. Cheap, but classy, I like it. Some eye primer, bronzer. The reason I purchased this bronzer is because I do have a bronzer that I use all the time at the moment. And again, that's an e.l.f. product, which I will show you again in a moment. And it's quite shimmery. But this one, it's very matte. There's no shimmer in it, which I think is fantastic for during the day. I don't know what this tone will be like on me, but this is what it's all about today. We're going to test it and we're going to find out. I've got a lip plumping gloss. I'm really interested to see if this really does plump my lips because the problem with my face, I have got major hang-ups with my face. I find that um, I don't like my nose. I inherited my mum's Italian nose and I don't really like that, but you should go make the best of what you got. And yeah, at least I've got a nose. Yeah, my top lip is very thin. I have never had any Botox injections or anything like that. I've not done anything. I'm holding off doing things like that until I'm 40. I'm hanging in there. It's gonna be my treat to myself when I'm 40 and then I'm gonna have some Botox injections and I'm gonna embrace them. But at the moment, I make and do with what God gave me. Sometimes if I'm doing a gig, I have to really wax some lip liner on there to make it look nice and full. I drew the short straw with the lips in the family and the nose. Although my brother did pretty poor with the nose as well. And I've got some lip primer I've got a concealer brush some different shades of eyeshadow they're quite shimmery they're not the sort of thing you would use during the day but we'll give them a go and that's all i've got in my box so here are my elf products that i've just unboxed i'm going to put them on so you can get like a true review on them I like my teddy bear hairband i bought it for holly last year she didn't use it so i skanked it off her don't worry, this isn't a makeup tutorial or anything, but me and my cousin will do one when we come out of lockdown. Yeah, Jenny, you didn't know that. Just thought I'd let you know now. And I've not really got any makeup on today, to be fair, but I'm just gonna take off what I have got. So this is me without makeup. To be fair, most of my videos, I don't really wear a lot of makeup anyway. I'm not one of these girls that really splash a lot on. I mean, if I do a live gig from home, or obviously a gig when I go out when life is normal, <laughs> which it hasn't been for quite a while, then yeah, I do put a lot of slap on, but I'm not very good at putting on lots of makeup or anything like that. I just do the best I can. What you see is what you get with me. There. A few blemishes. That's why you should take your vitamins. So that when you're in your 30s and you decide to do one of these videos, you look so great. Usually, I would cleanse, tone and moisturize. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna put on this toner. It's not the correct way around to doing it, but like I say, I'm just putting these to the test so you can have a little look. It's brightening. So let's just see how bright I look when I put this on. So let's um, 
dab a bit on a bit of cotton wool usually after you cleanse that i will tell you you should cleanse very zesty i always thought that a toner tightened your skin but i don't think it does i think it just takes away some of the crap so next time i'm going to use this elf primer directions use a small amount and blend evenly over the face so a small amount so don't be greedy when you're using this don't be like me but yeah i'm one of these people that want it all and i want it all now so a little bit wouldn't be enough for me i'd have to go full on but you're not supposed to you're meant to use just a little bit so here it is it takes a couple of pumps i'm going to use this much i'm going to use my lovely number seven mirror that lights up beautifully it's very soft and nice i do like a good primer if you don't know what a primer is i'll just explain it to you it gives you a nice smooth base before you apply your makeup i'm going to use a little bit more because like i said i'm very very greedy i need to feel the smoothness i want to feel like a hollywood woman because like i said i'll be having botox when i'm 40 but until then i'm gonna make do with what i've got and if this primer is making my skin really smooth then i'm up for it when you apply this primer it feels like you're applying a serum because it feels really smooth so i'm going to give this a 10 out of 10 i'm impressed so there you go really really like that so that should set my makeup lovely but like i said i'm not gonna put a full face makeup on I'm just testing out these products i've got some putty eye primer let's get this out of the pack and see what it's like putty eye primer there you go nice little pot so that will fit nicely in your makeup bag it's all very very white i wonder if it comes out white in your face oh it's it's tough it's tough putty it's tough stuff i'm just gonna put it on my eyes you know why you put this on your eyes or why you would put primer on your eyes for all of the all of you that don't know i'm sure if you're a woman you're watching this you probably know more than me to be fair but if you are someone on here if like you're a guy i like talking about the guys let's talk about the guys if you're a guy and you know jack shit about makeup i'm telling you now you put this on your eyes i think i might have put a bit too much on i'm not sure put it on your eyes because what happens next is you put your eyeshadow on oh my god i don't even know if i have an eyeshadow brush i don't usually use eyeshadow yeah you put it on your eyes and it sets your eyeshadow and it's meant to not crease and make you know it's meant to glide on beautifully so we'll see when i get my eyeshadow brush Oh god it's gone on my cheekbones look very white i think maybe a bit too much on maybe she'd have gone to get a little bit more delicately but this is me we're talking about i won't be getting any jobs in any makeup salon anytime soon just seeing it it's all natural with me you know natural so um i would say my take on that putty um it was a bit tough i would prefer something that's smooth that glides on a bit nicer that was a bit tough but maybe it's meant to be like that for a reason. Maybe we'll find out. Primer. While I'm priming everywhere, I've discovered lip primer. Didn't know you could get them. I just usually in the past would maybe just use a little bit of lip balm, if that. Probably not even that. Because I find that when you put lip balm on your lips, the lipstick doesn't go on right. I feel like you need a, a really full, dry lip to put your lipstick on nicely. I find that when it goes a little bit greasy, the lipstick doesn't sit right. Here it is. It's a lip primer. It feels quite cheap. To be fair, it looked all right in the box. Now it's out, it feels quite cheap. But then what do I expect? All right, just put it on my lips. I'm not going to do it in here. I'm going to do it in this one and then I'm going to show you. Obviously, you can see what I'm doing, can't you? All right, I put it on my top ones. <laughs> my non-existing top lip. Feels quite moisturised. More moisturised than a lip balm. More like it feels like you've just put a moisturising cream on your lips. As a lip balm feels a bit more waxy. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Not that you can tell because it's just a primer. But my take on that is it's all right. I just hope I'm going to try some lipstick on actually, all that limp plump, and we'll see how that sticks. Next thing I've got, I've only got a few more things here. I haven't really gone crazy because, like I say, it's not a full makeup session. I'm going to try this bronzer. I'm just going to show you my other bronzer actually brought my makeup bag in which is full of crap 
and I'm pulling out my old bronzer which I use which I told you it's a bit of a mess really but it would be because it's been inside a bag that's full of makeup it's quite old and I use it mainly for gigs because it's got that shimmer in it so I wanted to buy this one so I could use one during the day because especially in the winter months I look a bit pasty and with me being a Mediterranean Italian woman I'm not actually Italian quarter Italian Tim will argue he'll say someone that's quarter Italian hasn't got any Italian blood in them where is it it's under the table where are you? I found it. Tim would say anybody that is quarter Italian isn't got any Italian blood in them. My granddad was full Italian, mum's half, that makes me quarter. So I'm Mediterranean, I've got Mediterranean blood. So really, I have got an olive toned skin. So when it's winter in the UK, it really doesn't suit me. I'm meant to be somewhere where the sun is shining and I'm bronzing it up and I'm meant to look like a bronze goddess. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wear shimmery at work or anything like that when I'm looking a bit pasty because it's a little bit giggy-fied. When I say giggy-fied, I mean singing concert kind of giggy-fied. I look a bit too showbiz. So I've got to go with something a little bit more matte. So I'm going to try it. Now the tones, strange because in my shimmery one, I've got like four different tones that I mixed together. And this is just one blank one. This is called Forever Sunkissed. So maybe I'll be sunkissed forever. If it ends up looking terrible, it's fine because it's a testing vlog. We're testing. There's no mirror in it, which is a bit of a letdown. But then having said that, do you really think I used that mirror? Nah. So here's my bronzing brush. I don't know what kind of make this is actually. I don't even know where I got it from. I'm not really fussy with my brushes. I'm not really fussy about anything, as you can tell. So I just give it a little bit of a sweep. Give it a shake because I don't want residue going all over my beautiful jumper. Figure of eight. Do a little bit of the neck as well, because there's nothing worse than having a brown face and a white neck. Maybe I'll give that another go. It's quite natural then, so that's kind of good. I shouldn't do this in selfie camera, because it's really not a good angle. Usually when I do makeup, I'll have a little bit of foundation on underneath, so this would be more like on the top. But it's quite natural, which I quite like, because that's what I was looking for. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna contour a little bit in my face which doesn't really work properly unless you're using like a bit of highlighter and I'm not gonna because I'm just using this alone. Let's go around the outside here. It's, oh, I'm getting a bit of a breakout. I must lay off the chocolate because you are what you eat. If you sit there and eat crap all day, then your skin's gonna look crap and that is true. My dad's always saying to me, get some greens down here. Do I listen? No. Should do though. I did buy some rose and veg the other day that you do in the uh, microwave. You get four bags in a great big pack. God, we felt healthy. I do a little bit of bronzer down the top bit of my nose and then a little bit across. Then, if I do this with my nose, I believe it's gonna make me look like I don't have an Italian nose and I've got an English nose and then I will feel a lot better about myself. So that's the bronzer really, it's not much more to it and usually I would get like a blending brush and I would blend it a little bit more in. I bet you can't even tell that I've got anything on, can you? What we are going to try out is the eyeshadows. The packaging for these eyeshadows feels really cheap and nasty. So have a nice little closer look. There's your colours. So you've got some paler ones up here and you've got dark ones down here. These are mattes and these are quite shimmery. So I would say these are quite useful for gigs and these are a bit more casual though having said that I wouldn't wear one this dark during the day I'm not very good at applying eyeshadow it's not something I do very often I'll go for shimmery colour only because I just want to test this primer out really I don't want to sit here and test four different colours I could test four different colours I'll go for the um clear one first I'll use this one and then I'll come back hate eyeshadow hate it I usually put a little bit like on the top bit of the bone of the eye going towards the eyebrow and then like a little bit more towards it the towards in towards the nose so that sits nicely on the top you can see see and then what that is supposed to do is define the eyebrows and the eye apparently got a sound pro but i'm going to use a shimmer otherwise i might use a shimmer on one eye and then another shimmer on the other and then you can pick which one you like the best. And then you can pop it in the comments which colour you prefer. So I'm going to say this is like um, a pale gold and this is a dark gold. So whichever one you prefer, pop in the comments whether you prefer the pale gold or the dark gold. Right, a light gold. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
But I'm going to place it all on the bottom. You know what I hate about eyeshadow is you get it here when you apply it. I'm really going to have to start really dipping into this now because I tried to do it lightly because I didn't want it to look OTT, but you can't see any different. So you have to use quite a lot. But now it looks really cakey, but I can't see much of a colour, so it's not it's not great. It's quite naff actually. A bit disappointed. Can't even see it, can you? I put loads on as well. Look. Look, so you know how hard I'm dipping. I never hardly use eyeshadow and I just think it's sort of like obvious. I hate it. It's really fiddly. Now, has the primer helped? I don't think so. I don't think it's made any difference, to be honest. So anyway, that's the pale gold. As you can see, I've got plenty of gold on my cheekbone, hardly any on my eye. Right, let's try the dark gold, see how we get on with that. One of the reasons I go for like some shimmery colours, like I said to you before, is because it's for my gigs. But other than that, during the day, I don't really wear much makeup. Bit of mascara, maybe, to open up those eyes. Depends how I look when I wake up in the morning. If I look like a zombie, I might take a little bit more on. But if I look all right, I think it all depends on the time of the month. That's no joke. If you know women, it all depends on the time of the month. Sometimes you can feel really crappy and other times you feel good. I heard that when a woman is ovulating, they look their best in the month because nature says that if you look attractive and feel attractive, then the man is more likely to make love to you. And then if the man makes love to you, you're going to make a baby. And it's nature's way of making you know, the world to go around, <laughs> apparently. So you're gonna look better when you're ovulating. So there you go, I bet you never knew that. See, I could be a teacher, sex education teacher. You could probably see this a little bit more than that, actually. What do you think? Do you prefer the darker gold or the lighter gold? Can you even see the lighter gold? I can't. You know, pop in the comments your thoughts. Like I said, we're just trying out these products just to see how good they are. I, mean, I think the dark gold's okay. The other one, like say, you can't see properly. The last thing that I've got, which I've been desperate to try out, because as you know, I've got a very thin top lip. I've been moaning, <sighs> I've been moaning about it. I just want to see if this really is like surgery in a bottle. I doubt it because Elf is quite a cheap make. It's a nice cheap make though. But it's true, you get what you pay for. For the money, it's all right. I quite like it. Like I said, there's some nice stuff here and then there's some other stuff here. Anyway, it's lip plumping gloss it's called Mocha Twist. Let's try it. Let's give it a go. I always start with my top lip. So here we go. Like about... I don't know, four or five strokes. Because you can really define it. No tingling yet. Dip it in so you get a little bit more on there. So there's the top lip so far. Why is my tongue tingling? What the hell? If it tingles, you know it's plumping. So that's good. Good sign. Bottom lip. If I was using a normal lipstick now, I would have, before I did the bottom lip, I'd have rubbed them together. But when I'm doing a gloss or something like this, I don't really do that. I just sort of paint it on. Oh God, I love it. Because my top lip is so thin, I'll just go over it a little bit more. Now in this mirror, they look shit hot. What do you think? Nice colour. So just scooting over everything. I'm just going to lose a hairband now so you can see the real me. Let me just remind you, this was not a makeup tutorial or a skincare tutorial. This was literally pulling the products out of the box that I purchased and putting them on instantly to a bare face. So they may not have been in an order where you'd usually do it, like I put toner on. First of all, let me remind you, when you put toner on, you are meant to cleanse first and then tone and then moisturise. And then you're meant to prime and then put your makeup on. So these little basics I know, and I know I didn't do them, but like I said, I'm just testing out these products. The ELF products are reasonable. You can get them even more reasonable if you sign up to the newsletter and then when they've got offers on and stuff like that, they will send them to you. You know, what sort of discounts are on offer at the time. And I think you can also sign up and get like 
points for everything you buy which kind of work like boots points or tesco points or super drug points so if you're familiar with them you'll understand how it works and like i've been using this shimmer bronzer you can still buy this in the shop it's amazing but it's the sort of bronzer you would use for a night out i wouldn't use it for work i wouldn't use it for during the day it's a little bit battered i've been using the elf concealer some concealers i just could not find the correct tone and the right consistency but this works superb for me the tone is um light medium so like i say these two products work really well for me but the primer this is hot i love it the eyeshadow no nah. wouldn't use that lip primer has this made a difference to my lips i don't know time will tell this particular bronzer i can't really tell much of a difference to my face maybe it's a little bit more darker i don't know what do you guys think can you tell the difference this i don't get really but like i say maybe time will tell with that one this was nice you can really smell the zest in that that was really nice at the moment, like I say, I've been using the Tropic one and the Tropic one is ace. But yeah, this is really good. This, I'm loving. I'm looking at the selfie camera now and I'm really pleased with my lips. I can feel them tingling while I'm talking to you. But there's something about it that's working nicely. You know, if you, if you want to share this review, share it around. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. There are lots of things that I'm putting up. I am putting up like some gigs, some vlogs and some more hauls. Take care of yourselves. Love you lots. See you next time. Mwah, 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 mwah.